Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. I am Jyoti and today I am going to tell you about automatic date time feature in Power BI. So uh, this feature uh, in Power BI, this is selected by default. So uh, you can go to file and then go to options and settings and then you can go to options. In, in the options uh, dialog, uh, you can see this uh, auto date time for new files in time intelligence section. So as you can see that this particular uh, feature is selected by default in Power BI desktop. So even if you open Power BI desktop in your machine, then there also you will be able to see the same setting because this is a default setting that comes when you install Power BI desktop in your machine. So what exactly is this auto date time feature in Power BI desktop? What it is used for? So uh, we will be discussing about this in this particular video. So uh, first of all, let me tell you that uh, in order to uh, tell you about this particular feature, I am using Contoso database. Uh, this can be installed. This is a database which is provided by Microsoft and you will be able to install it uh, in your machine after installing SQL Server and SSMS in your machine. So I will be uh, putting the link to install that in the description box uh, of this video. So as you can see, I have two tables. Uh, I will be going to da data view and as you can see I have two tables. One is the fact table which is the fact sales table and the other one is the dimension table which is dim date table. And as you can see that uh, both of them are having a relationship between them. So uh, just a sec. So, so uh, Dim date and fax sales are connecting to each other. Uh, so they have a relationship between each other uh, where uh, dim date is on the one side of the relationship and fax sales you know, is on the many side of the relationship. And they, uh, the relationship is formed by date key column of both the tables. So uh, what happens in case of automatic date time in Power BI is that uh, suppose uh, I, I am going to put a date column that is date key column from here to say uh, just a sec let me just create a table for you so that you will be able to look at it really nicely. So I will be I will be putting this date key which is a date column in the rows uh, field uh, of this particular metric. So as you can see, I uh, have a hierarchy over here and uh, this in this particular hierarchy, year, quarter, month and day, these four uh, levels are there. So year is at the top level, then comes quarter, then comes month and then comes day. So in case of automatic date time in Power BI, uh, Power BI creates a hidden date table for each date or you can say a date time column in the model. So suppose you, you are having one date that is the order date. The second date is actually your delivery date and the third date is actually you can say a return date. And for each of these three dates, three hidden tables will be created by Power BI desktop uh, in the back end actually. So because these tables are hidden, you won't be able to modify any of these tables. So, and for each of these date tables, uh, a, a, a hierarchy uh, will be created. For each of these dates actually, hierarchy will be created. Uh, in that uh, in that case, year comes at the top 
and they come at the lowest level. Now, um, this automatic date time in Power BI it has few major drawbacks. First one is that uh, if you are having one date column, then one hidden table will be created. If you are having like n date columns, then n hidden tables will be created. And these tables, they won't be having any relationship among them, any relationship. So in that case, you can say that you are creating a huge model just because this feature actually leads to increase in model size. So that is really unnecessary. So also the second thing is that uh, you can't create a single matrix or a simple matrix where you can show uh, ordered sales amount, delivered sales amount, or you can say the sales amount which you have in your hand after returning the orders in just one single matrix. You can't create that, right? Because um, because uh, you are having three different date tables and they all are unrelated to each other. So you won't be able to create one matrix with one date and in that particular matrix, you can't show three different measures. Then the third thing is that because these tables, they are totally hidden, our developer won't be able to modify them. So like if I want to add something, uh, in, in these date tables, say you can say a week date column, I won't be able to do so because they are all hidden and I won't be able to modify them. So just to give you a demo, now uh, what I will be doing is I will be creating a simple measure over here. And uh, because I want to give you a demo of automatic date time feature. So I am going to create a measure sum of sales amount. And what I will be doing is I will be calling the iterator summit function. And in the table, I will be giving the name of the fact table. And for the expression, I will be giving uh, it as like a quantity, sales quantity into cost, unit cost. So I have this and this has been created. Now I will be selecting this particular table and I will be putting sum of sales amount in the values uh, section. So as you can see, for the year 2007, the sum of sales amount was this. For 2008, it was a different value. For 2009, it was another value. And for total, it was a different value. Now, as it, now you will be able to see these buttons at the top. So I will select expand all down one level in the hierarchy. So after selecting this, now you can see that I am able to see the quarterly distribution of sum of sales amount for different years. And if I drill it further down, then I am able to see the quarterly as well as monthly distribution for each of these years. And if I again drill it down to the lowest level, then I can see the yearly, quarterly, monthly, and daily. Uh, sum of sales amount. So this is what the automatic date time feature of Power BI is. So this hierarchy is created and where this hierarchy is coming from? It is coming from the hidden date table. So though it may, be, uh, it may seem uh, a, a really nice feature, totally feasible option for you, but if you if you uh, are a regular DAX programmer, then uh, you will be facing many difficulties with this particular feature because it is having all these drawbacks. Now, how to overcome these drawbacks? Uh, on that, I will come up with another video 
so stay tuned and keep watching these videos um, uh, subscribe to our channel uh, if you find if you found this video informative uh, like this video please let me know what your feedbacks are um, by commenting uh, on this video share this video as much as you can and subscribe to our channel thank you